Hi, thank you for joining me today. Um, hope everybody's doing fine, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we're going to be making today, or what we hope to make. Okay, this is a little pocket. It's made out of old book pages and napkins. You can just stick something in there just like that, okay? This one was intended to be glued onto a junk, page, junk journal page so there's nothing on the back. Today I'm gonna to try something new and I'm gonna to attempt to put a paper clip on. So we're gonna walk through this together since I've not tried this and see if it actually works. So what you start with is I've glued two book pages together for the basis of my pocket. I've got a single book page that is going to hold my paper clip and be glued onto the back of my pocket so that I can kind of have a hidden paper clip, so to speak. So we'll see how that works, okay? Then I've got acrylic paint. I'm going to paint my book page a little bit, not a whole lot. I've got some Distress Ink that I might use, and this is Tim Holtz Spiced Marmalade. And then I've got this pretty little paper napkin. I'm gonna be taking it apart and putting it onto my book page. Then I have bookmarks. These are bookmarks that I have made. Some of them are with my background pages that I have painted. So we're gonna try those at the end once we get this thing made and see what happens, see which ones look the best. And actually they're tags, not bookmarks. Sorry about that. I also am gonna use Elmer's washable school glue for this project to, in order to put my napkin down. If you have a bone folder, you can use that. Uh, mine has walked off at the moment, so I won't be using a bone folder. I guess I'll just use my hands. Okay, so the first thing let's do, let's separate our napkin since we've got it right here. Now you can use some washi tape, wonderful, wonderful washi tape. Oh, how I love washi tape. And I've got some, let me pull a little roll out here. So we're going to pull the, the napkin plies apart. Usually they come three ply. So we're gonna roll our washi tape and we're gonna see if that peels away. And it does, look there, okay? That's one ply. And we're gonna carefully, carefully pull away separating one ply from the other on our napkin. Now, I can't remember if these are two ply or three ply, so let's see what happens. It's a three ply, okay? So now we've got our hole, and we can gently pull our napkin apart. And the reason that we separate our napkin is so that when we glue it down, we get a shadow of what was behind the napkin. Can you see that? Okay. So one little tip when you're doing these, check what's on your book pages. You might not want any bad words. So you might wanna go with PG books. <laughs> and as I always say, Ask me how I know. <laughs> I've done all kinds of things without intending to that turned out to be X-rated and I had to back up and punt again. Okay, we're gonna put our napkin aside for a moment. I'm gonna get a drink of my coffee here. And we're gonna take this, the two pages that we've glued together and I am not trimming up these edges because I actually like these ruffled edges. See how pretty they become when you start painting them and when you ink them, they just, they really look just so nice. So we're gonna paint these. We're just gonna put some paint here. I'm gonna try my best to stay on screen. I have troubles with that as y'all well know. Start with a damp brush, Cassia Avery. Uh, one of the classes I took with her, she gave us that tip. That helps you clean your brush up later on. Okay, so I'm just going to come in here 
and I'm just gonna smear me some paint, okay? No particular design in mind at all. I'm just coming in, and I've got those bristles separated again, because remember we, when we did the flowers, what a cool effect we got with that. Acrylic paint dries really quickly, so you can work on one side and then flip it over and work on the other side in just a minute. And if you have one of those embossing heat tools, you can use that to speed it up. Just be careful because if you've gone thick with your acrylic paint, it will bubble and peel up and you don't want that to be happening. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to paint the other side. And I don't want thick paint. I just want... Well, that went a little thick, didn't it? And this is going to, one side of this is not going to be showing anyway because it's going to be behind my glued paperclip part. But we'll decide which one of those once we get everything put together. Well, we'll decide that here in a minute. I think it's going to be this side because I'm not liking this side quite as much as the other side. And what I'm doing now, I'm getting those ruffled edges that I like so much. I'm getting a little paint on them. Sometimes it goes a little thick. All right. And we just keep going. And keep going. Now, I have not torn the sides off yet because when we fold our pocket, I'll do the tearing then. So I didn't want to limit the width of my pocket just yet. I'm gonna touch just those jagged edges. Just those jaggeds. And that just gives your edges a little bit of interest and pulls those fibers down again to give it some interest some dimension. Texture, I guess, would be the best word. Okay. Let me get it. Oh, I'll use part of the napkin I tore away, and I'll pull up that paint, and just so I don't stick my hands in it, because you know I will. And we're just going to now take this page, and we're going to paint our single page, okay? Ah, I pulled my paint up. See, I wasn't thinking okay live and learn put a little bit of paint out and we'll go ahead and paint both sides of this even though it doesn't really matter and that went on a little thick didn't it okay you can daub your brush off on your palette surface so that you don't get such thick coverage but maybe that'll give it some light and dark behind the napkin And we'll paint the other side just to see which side we like the best. Okay. So I'm working on those fibery edges. Trying to bring my texture out. I like this orangey color. And we're getting... The textury edges here. And this is a really quick little project because nothing has to dry for too awfully long. Now I'm gonna get just a smidge more paint here and we'll paint the other side of this and then we'll be ready to glue napkin on. And then our project is really gonna start coming to life. Okay, let's come along here. Let's give this one lots of orange. And we'll lay our napkin on top and see how we like it. We don't really have to use all of this book page, but I think for what we're going to do, I may just do that, just to give it more, since it's going to be carrying a paper clip and being clipped on things, I don't want it to sag open, so I think gluing this third 
this entire third layer might give it a little more stability. So we'll see what happens. And we're gonna go, like I said, we're gonna go dark with this and we're gonna lay our napkin on top of it just to see how it looks on the back. And that'll help hide the contour, hopefully, of that paper clip behind the colors as well. You could put all kinds of things in this. You could clip it to your uh, planner. You could clip it to your Bible. You could clip it to your daily journal. Clip it to the book that you're reading. If you still read books instead of use your Kindle or your iPad reader. You could clip it to a cookbook. You could just do all sorts of things. Clip it to the pot, coffee pot. Leave your husband a note every morning. Just... Be inventive with the things that you make, because what I'm discovering is when you like your surroundings, you like yourself so much better. Let me show you something really simple here that I made, just because it makes me smile. Half the time I forget to use it, but um, if you have ever had the chance to watch any of Genevieve Designs videos, she makes, she called this a garbage bowl, okay? Is that not just the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's got little feet on it. I made it because I thought it was pretty. Do I remember to use it? Usually not. But if my desk is clean and everything is in place the way it should be, if life was perfect, when I see that little, little garbage bowl, it just makes me smile. And I found that when I surround myself with things that make me happy, things that make me smile. It makes me a happier person to be around, and I bet you're just like me. So if you're making these things not to sell, if you're just learning to make these things to have fun, make them and then use them. Don't put them up. Actually use them. I use my tags. I use my pockets. I use the flowers that I make. I use the books that I make. They just they just bring me joy. What can I say? Okay, now we're going to use our napkin. We may have to use two napkins. We'll see here. On this one, we're going to use the whole thing. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see the orange behind it? Is that not pretty? Now, that's the deep orange. This is the more splotchy orange. And you know what? That's pretty too. I don't know which one I like the best. Let me let me look here. It's difficult to decide. I'm going to go with the the more splotchy one. Okay. This is where my glue stick comes in okay this is so easy y'all you will not believe how easy it is let me go find let me go find a, a not a bone folder but you can use an old credit card for a bone folder let me go find something i'll be right back I didn't find an old credit card. What I did find was some of my business cards. So I'm just going to lay them down here and glue them together and they can dry while I'm gluing my napkin on and that'll give me a nice, durable, hopefully, scraper, whatever you want to call it, so that we can make sure we don't have any air bubbles in our napkin, okay? So I'm going to glue this together. I'm using some new glue, and I had ordered it from Walmart, and I ordered Fabri-Tac. They sent me Beacon 
Magnetac. So I don't know if that's the same thing and they've changed the name or if they just sent me something different by mistake. It does grab faster than the Fabri-Tac, but still gives you a little wiggle room. So hopefully I'll learn to use it fairly quickly. Okay, let's glue our napkin down. Now I'm gonna start just up in this tip and I'm gonna I'm gonna do this in sections so that I make sure I get all of it okay so spread your glue on and make sure that you get it on there good because you want your napkin to stick okay now I'm gonna take my napkin and I'm going to make sure I've got good coverage all the way around. I'm going to spread it out right there and see already I've got wrinkles and bubbles. So let's try our little scraper. You don't want to work it too hard because then your napkin is going to tear. And you don't want your napkin to tear, but if it does, it's not the end of the world. It's just a design opportunity, and we've talked about those before too. All right now I'm going to keep on gluing. I'm gonna come down my napkin. This is one of the easier things to put napkins on because you can, you don't have to worry about your spacing and that kind of thing. I've done some envelopes and tried to st strategically place my napkins and that can get a little, little hairy, but this is, a lot easier. So we're coming down through here again with the napkin. Now we're gonna do this. I think part of the problem is this is a single sheet. That might be part of the problem, okay? Plus, oh, we're gluing on top of wet acrylic. Yeah, that might have something to do with it. Okay, let's just keep going. It is what it is. Our napkin's not torn and we're making progress, so let's just keep going. Okay, there's a little edge that I missed. And I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to get the whole rest of this. If I spread my glue pretty quickly, maybe I can accomplish that. And then again, maybe not, because I'm having some issues. So let's go ahead and glue down what we got and keep going. We're almost done with this side of our napkin, or our, our pocket. And we're going to hope that this little experiment works. And I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. The biggest problem will be the weight of the paper clip and the items you place in the pocket. Okay. There we go. And of course you can see my glue marks, but that's gonna dry and it's gonna dry clear or it should dry clear. And you can see the purple glue under there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this around to the other side. Let me put my cap on my glue. And I'm gonna tear my napkin. I'm gonna tear it off. So that again, I'm getting all those way cool fibers. All those yummy little, yummy little threads. I like them, you may not, but I do. I think it gives it character. Okay. And then this side is easy to do right here. We just... Pull again, pulling toward myself so that it's pulling against the page to help tear most of it. And you can save these scraps <laughs> and become the queen of hoarding like I'm becoming with all of my paper. Met, never met a good piece of paper that I couldn't throw away or that I could throw away, I guess. So I'm starting to 
run out of room for paper storage. But all these little flowers, can you can strategically tear them off and glue them on pages in your junk journal or on an envelope for something you're going to mail to somebody. How cute would that be? Okay, there is the first part of our book, or our pocket, I'm sorry. Now, I've got to the side, which is going to be the top and the bottom of my pocket because i got to put my paper clip on there. So let me find a paper clip. I want the long part to be in the back and the short part to be in front so that it will give it some more stability. I'm going to do that. And then... I'm going to lay it on this pocket. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's gonna need anything. I might put something on there just for, for some stability. No, I won't. Yes, I will. I'm going to glue this over it. Wrong glue bottle. I'm going to lay a little book page over it so that maybe it will help it to stay in place. Okay. I'm going to lay that right in there, and I'm going to push it against that paper clip. And I got a piece of page way too big, so I'm just going to rip some of it off. Right like that. Okay? So now we're going to glue our page to this one. And I'm going to glue it to the cupped page, the cupped part of the page, just because... I think that will help it to lay a little flatter. It'll flatten the whole piece out is what I'm trying to say. Might be wrong, but we'll try it and see. All right. So, here comes the glue. And you can be liberal with this. The, the thing I really, really, really like about using this kind of glue is when you spread it out, then it doesn't leave lines in your glue lines in your paper usually. When I first started doing this, I used a couple of different glues that I won't name that I really like the way they work, but they leave glue lines, and I never could figure out how to not get glue lines. So this, not only does this give me time to position my page because as you can see I am very accident prone in my craft and my glue stick just fell in my glue this gives me time to position things okay so we're going to smooth that out so there's the back of our pocket now, this pocket is a lot thicker than this pocket. Can you hear that? That's, I think, one page and some napkins, and it's kind of translucent. This one is going to be a very durable pocket, so you, you can put it in and know it's not going to flop open. Okay, we're going to put napkin here also just because I think it's kind of pretty. What we need to do is run it down the center, okay? This one, I've got napkin on the inside, just a portion of it, so we're gonna take our scrap glue. Maybe I won't be having to hoard quite so much napkin. We're gonna take our scrap napkin and we're gonna run it down the center, excuse me, the center where our paper clip is, because what we're gonna do, we're gonna fold over and fold over like that and then we're going to pull back so that you'll see that so we're gonna 
Let's see, where do we need to go with this? We're gonna put our glue down this stripe, down this center stripe. You don't have to go all the way to the bottom like I'm doing on this one, it just made it a little easier is all. Okay, now we're gonna lay our napkin in. And we're gonna spread it down. Okay, and you can see that there's space that I didn't get, so I'm gonna come in here and do this so that I can glue that down. The same with the top of this. And I'm putting the glue on the napkin instead of the book page so that maybe I don't get double stick. Okay. All right, we're going to turn this over and we're going to pull it toward us to rip it off. And this I'm just going to tear off. All right, now we're going to fold our page like so. And we've got the basis of our pocket. Here's this pocket, it was smaller, but it was about the same width. We got the same width going on. So now what we gotta do we got to decide do we want this on the inside and this on the outside or vice versa. And I think, because this one's got so much white, I want this one on the inside. So I'm going to come along here and I'm going to pull and tear away like that. Maybe I'll tear away just a little more. To give us an opening, easy opening for putting our tags and our notes and our our little, you can put scripture card in there, you can do all kinds of things, okay? So we're getting the shot of this big rose back behind us. And here, I'm gonna go from about right here and I'm gonna tear And look at that, you're just about done. We are on the home stretch. Look at that pretty little bloom popping up there. All right, so I'm gonna take my glued together business card and I'm gonna gently put that crease in there. I don't wanna do it too hard because I don't wanna tear my napkin. go back and look okay so there's that see we're still getting white space and there is that way what I do want to do is I want to come along and I want to give this some interest so I'm going to tear just a smidge off going up you see how little I'm tearing off because I want to get some of that frayed edge going on we want to give it a little bit of character. But you don't want to tear off a whole lot. There, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, so now we're gonna take our distressed ink. This is probably not the best color of orange. Let's see if I can find my hateful distress inks. I'm always putting them in a different place. See if I've got a deeper orange. That was a brown, I think. Yep. No joy there. I have the fancy tins. You know, if I'd keep them in the tins, it'd be a lot easier to find, wouldn't they? Let's try this stack. Nope. Okay, 
Okay. Let's try one more place. Let's see if I got a deep orange. I do. It's fired brick. That might look pretty good. We'll test it on a strip that we've already torn off and see how it looks. So we have napkin here. Oh yeah, I think I like that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, my fancy inker, right? I'm just using the cube and I'm coming down through here like this so that all these little yummy fibers, looky there, look at that. And let's get the ends. Now I've made some of these where I've glued lace to the ends. That makes it real pretty. See how that ink looks now? But the laced ends, that's very pretty. You can do that. I'm just gonna leave these the way they are today. I've run over the 30 minute limit, but that's okay too. Because we're having fun, or at least I am. <laughs> I speak for myself. <laughs> I won't. I won't deign to speak for you, but I am having fun because anytime I'm making something, I'm having fun. Okay, so I'm going to continue to work my edges here. All right, we got one thing left to do, and that is to get this glue, and we're going to, I'm going to put some school glue right there just to make sure that that napkin doesn't interfere with anything later on. Okay, so there's that. This side's good and glued. How did I forget to glue that? No telling. All right, we're gonna run a thin bead of glue. See how messy I work? I'm gonna run a thin bead of glue down this to close up our pocket so nothing falls out the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna fold that over just like that. And then we're gonna come here. And we're gonna come partially up so that it's glued on the front there. And we're gonna hold it so that it has time to catch. And then we're gonna lift it and make sure it doesn't glue to our table. Put the cap back on the glue so it doesn't volcano out. And our pocket is finished. Now the glue is not quite set because I can see daylight down at the bottom there. But we're gonna try out some bookmarks. Isn't that pretty? It didn't take any time to make. There went my glue. Now we're gonna try, oh there's another one of my, my little tags that I did out of a background paper. Now we're gonna pretend that we're clipping this onto a journal. Looky there. It worked. Ah, I'm tickled. Okay. We're going to try out our tags in here. And this is actually a bigger pocket widthwise than I thought that I was going to be able to make. So we're going to take a tag and we're going to put it down in there. Now that's pretty, but it kind of all blends in, doesn't it? So let's try one with some blue. Okay, let's try that. That's pretty, but again, it kind of blends in. I think I already know. Look at this. I used purple, my favorite color, and then some black on some blue cardstock. And look at that. That pops. I love it. Okay, now let's look at some little tags. I've got a, just a light orange one that I can drop down in there and it will tuck right there. And I kind of like that peeping out. So I think we're done. That's it. We've got 
a little pocket that we can put our tags on. Now, if you decided to just leave your book pages, you could decorate with stamps, with ink, with paint, gluing flowers on, anything you wanted to do. I mean, the sky's the limit with paper arts. It's just what you like to do. So I hope that you liked this video. I hope you'll want to subscribe. There's a subscribe button there. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so that you're reminded when I do upload a video. This is my first week, so I'm uploading more because it's so much fun. Next week, I'm going to scale back and hopefully I'll be doing at least two videos per week. I don't know what day yet. I haven't fully decided, but thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you in YouTube land very soon. Bye-bye.